Pete, well, I had to smile when I heard the Prime Minister say we make decisions and we do things in a transparent way because I remember him looking straight into the eyes of the Australian people and saying... I'd like to become the first insect politician. because I remember him looking straight into the eyes of the Australian people and saying, my word is my bond and I won't change the stage three tax cuts. My word is my bond. People are entitled to have that certainty of the tax cuts that have been legislated. When a politician makes a commitment before an election, they keep it. And I intend to do just that. Uh, what we need as well is to have that certainty. People have made assessments based upon uh, the certainty that comes through legislated tax changes and we intend to fulfil that. You said my word is my bond. What is your word worth now to Australian voters? One dollar. Looking straight into the eyes of the Australian people and saying I kept that lucky one dollar coin in my pocket. Because I remember him looking straight into the eyes of the Australian people and saying my word is my bond and I won't change the stage three tax cuts. I can confirm that we haven't changed our position. We have no change to our plans. Tax cuts will happen in July. We haven't changed our position. I've said we haven't changed our position. We haven't changed our position on the stage three tax cuts. We have not changed our position on stage three tax cuts. They've been legislated. We support them. Our position hasn't changed. You said my word is my bond. What is your word worth now to Australian voters? My determination and my job is to get the best outcome for Australians. Again, why can't he just answer the question? This was the plan all along and we can see it now. The election was won on a lie. The election win was based significantly on this lie. Every single Labor MP lied to their community and they need to stand up and explain that today and in the days ahead. I don't think the Australian people accept a Prime Minister who lies to their face. This is uh, incredibly important for many people and you've discussed all of the detail, which I was present in the Parliament when it was legislated by both sides. But my question now is, what else is on the table? Negative gearing, taxes on the family home, increases in the Medicare levy or the NDIS levy because you can't trust this Labor government. And if this has to go through the Parliament again with legislation, what will the Greens do to change this bill? Because they've tried very hard to change every single bill and they've been successful with this government so far. So uh, there's, there's lots to question the Prime Minister about when he makes his final announcement. looking straight into the eyes of the Australian people and saying we need a better government. Looking straight into the eyes of the Australian people and saying impediments. Looking straight into the eyes of the Australian people and saying tick tock, tick tock, the clock's ticking, nothing's happened. Looking straight into the eyes of the Australian people and saying if you were just to uh, distribute uh, additional cash to people, you potentially make inflation worse. And therefore, today I announce that Australia will provide an additional $15 million in humanitarian assistance for civilians in Gaza. Looking straight into the eyes of the Australian people and saying, Reach for the stars. Looking straight into the eyes of the Australian people and saying, I'm someone who I believe is, is very much in touch uh, with mainstream Australia. I'm comfortable in a boardroom and I'm comfortable uh, in a pub. Um, the, the truth is uh, that... I'm a drunk. I don't know nothing about how I do anything. Whoa! That's my style. I hope you've noticed that.